Hi everyone, I hope you guys are all doing good today. Today I'm going to give you an example on how to describe a pie chart. You have to be able to summarize, report and compare results to achieve a band of 7 and above in this writing task 1. You have to write about 150 words. You have to have a good range of vocabulary and grammar. In IELTS writing task 1, you have been asked to describe the two charts. So the two charts show the percentage of an industry sector's contribution to the economy of Turkey in 2000 and 2016. You have been asked to summarize the information by selecting, reporting the main features and make comparison between the two charts. To achieve a band of 7 and above in a writing task 1, your essay must consist of four parts, which are introduction, an overview, feature 1, feature 2. In introduction, you must introduce your chart to the reader in one or two sentences. In an overview, list general trends of your chart. Don't write specific numbers or details. In a feature 1, you should describe your specific results. In a feature 2, describe specific results as well. Don't write in conclusion because you're not asked your personal opinion. You have already summarized the information in a general overview. Introduction. I have paraphrased the given statement by finding the synonym of the word show and change it into illustrate. I have changed the noun contribution into a verb contribute and added how in a sentence. So I have paraphrased it as follow. The two pie charts illustrate how different industry sectors contributed to the economy of Turkey percentage-wise in the years 2000 and 2008. 16. Overview. There are many ways to find a key feature. First of all, look for the smallest and biggest slices. Secondly, find which slices become bigger, smaller and has not changed. For instance, agriculture was one of the largest in 2000, while manufacturing was one of the smallest. In 2016, healthcare and education was one of the largest, finance, business and others was one of the smallest. I have written my overview as follow. Overall, at the beginning of the period, construction contributed the least to the economy of Turkey, while agriculture was the most significant economic sector. In comparison, at the end of the period, healthcare and education became the largest economy segment, and the lowest contribution was made by finance, business, and other services. If you want to get an overall ban of seven, you have to write the word overall because it shows the reader that you're going to talk generally about the overview part. Instead of me writing 2000 again and again, I have written at the beginning of a period. Similarly, I did write the end of a period instead of 2000. It's better to avoid repetition. I have used the passive form. For instance, the lowest contribution was made by finance, business and other services. This will tell the reader that you have a good grammar. I have introduced the topic by paraphrasing the given statement. In a paragraph 2, I gave an, a general overview of both pie charts. In a paragraph 3, I'll be talking about the sectors that experienced an increase in a percentage. In the last paragraph, I'll be talking about the sectors that experienced a decrease in a percentage. Specific features. I have compared the sectors that did increase in a percentage between 2000 and 2016. For instance, construction, manufacturing, trade, utility, and transportation, finance, business, and other services experience an increase in percentage-wise. I have written paragraph 3 as follow. Construction sector accounted for 3% of Turkey's economy in 2000 and experienced a more than threefold increase to one-tenth in 2016. Economic income from trade, utilities, and transportation was 14% in 2000 and had a slight growth of 2% in 2016. At the beginning of a period, manufacturing, finance, business and other services made up 8 and 5% of Turkey's economy respectively and these figures rose to 12% and 8% in 2016.
To write a percentage of a certain sector, I use different expressions like accounted for 3%, was 14%, made up 8% and 5%. To describe a change in a percentage, I use a broad range of vocabulary such as more than threefold, increased to one tenth, had a slight growth of 2%, rose to 12% and 8%. It's better for you to learn different words that describe an increase in a trend as this will help you to avoid repetition in the exam. Specific feature, decrease. Sectors that experience a decrease in a percentage are government, leisure and hospitality. I have written my last paragraph as follow. Agriculture, which comprised of almost a quarter of Turkey's economy in 2000, fell to 14% in 2016. In 2000, economic output from government and leisure and hospitality sectors were at 12% and 17%, respectively, and both decreased by 3% after 16 years period. In contrast, contribution from healthcare and education remained constant in both years at 17%. To indicate percentage of a different economic sectors, I use diverse expressions, such as comprised, where at. To describe a change in a percentage, I use these following expressions, such as fell to, both decreased by. Had no change in percentage, I used the following expressions, remained constant. Thank you for watching this video. I want you to subscribe, like and share this video and see you next time with another video.